I've just released an album on Scissor Tail Records called Beginnings. So let me explain. For me there are four different beginnings that I'm referring to there. First one very straightforward. Having played the pedal steel for many, many, many years, in 2019, when I was no longer a young man, to say the least, I got Bill and Tim Rudolph of Williams Guitars in Minnesota to build me this pedal steel, which is a 12 string universal tuning, which I'd never played before at that point, which required me to, in a sense, begin again. So for the last few years, since 2019, I've had to relearn 75% of what I knew on the pedal steel guitar, which has been a real project of discovery uh, for me. Uh, and the album that I've released explores and catalogues many of those discoveries. So it's never too late to begin again, would be the first point I would like to make. Secondly, also very straightforward, here I am sitting in my garden mainly for dramatic effect, no other reason, because it's freezing. Um, the beginning of every day, after a nice cup of coffee, I sit behind the pedal steel guitar, or that thing, as my daughter Isabel lovingly calls it, and I just start to play. I'm an improviser by nature, so I just do kind of exercises that makes it sound more formal than it is. It's just playing around, trying out ideas. And because this is still feels like a new kind of instrument to me, I'm always discovering things that step up out of the blue. And I think, wow, how did I do that? And I try and hang on to that idea and I try and remember what I did. And then with a bit of luck, I can take that away and build something around it into a nice piece of music and that is really the third beginning that you start playing but that's not the beginning you start in order to hopefully discover beginnings and when you find something that's when the music kind of begins um, and that leads on to the final and perhaps slightly pretentious but I spent my whole life being pretentious so who cares where we're talking about a source or an origin, not just of the guitar or me as a musician or, or styles of music, but just music as an event, as a source, as an origin. And if we can tap into that, something far beyond us as individual musicians, we really start to hit upon something that is of interest, I think, and is at the key to why we love art of all types, and in my case, music in particular. And, and no music, can possibly move me or interest me unless it touches upon that beginning, that what some philosophers call that other beginning. The beginning that in a sense we forget but somehow we remember it when we um, hit upon those moments, those beginnings in our own playing. And this is true of all music in all genres regardless of whether it's considered to be serious art music or popular music, it's the same thing. It's the event of music that has always already begun before we start playing. And if we can touch upon that, then we're getting somewhere and hopefully we create something worth listening to. So I'll begin. <laughs>